Good afternoon, guys. I'm Sharif from Bushido Kaizen. Today, I would like to share a few collection of my watches that I have, uh, you know, got hold of for quite a number of years. Yeah. Let's move on to the one on my wrist right now. Yeah. This is the the replica Rolex. Replica Rolex, I believe uh, I bought it uh, quite a number of years ago. It's an automatic. It has automatic movement. Yeah, York Master. It is a cheap copy of the the Rolex York Master. Okay, but um, you know the only thing is that the, the, the movement oh, is uh, basic, auto movement basic. Probably uh, the power reserve is less than a few hours. Okay, it will work fine if it is constantly on your wrist. Uh, the next collection, this is my worst <laughs> and the cheapest watch. I bought this at a Lelong in Pasar Malam <laughs> uh, quite cheap uh, remember it cost me roughly about less than 20 ringgit <laughs> if you can believe me uh, uh, <laughs> it is it has a quartz movement quartz movement uh, I think the battery died many years ago yeah uh, you know, I bought this. This was my first replica Rolex that I bought out of curiosity. It worked fine <laughs> when the battery lasted. Probably when I changed the battery, it cost, the battery cost more than the watch itself. <laughs> now each battery, uh, replacement battery costs about 20 ringgit. <laughs> okay, so I kept it just for memory sake. Next is the Yep, Casio. Uh, the battery is dead, but I love this watch. One of my first Casio watches. Uh, I believe I've had it more than 15 years. Okay. Yep, my favorite. Yeah, my favorite. One of my favorite is this uh, Huawei. This was my second smartwatch. The first one I bought a Samsung. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful watch. Uh, Samsung I gave to my son. Um, the only thing I don't like about Samsung is uh, the battery life. Uh, it would last you a single day, yeah. This one, this watch, I believe, will last you about a week or more, yeah. And uh, what I like about this watch is it has a oxygen, yeah, oxygenometer they call it, yeah, to measure your oxygen level, and also your heartbeat. Ah, actually, you can speak if you connect to uh, Bluetooth through your phone. Uh, you can read messages, yeah, WhatsApp, and uh, you can uh, make calls, yeah, receive call from this phone. Yeah, it has a built-in uh, microphone and 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 what do you call it? Uh, loudspeaker. This one, yeah. This is the fossil, a beautiful watch, yeah, with a black, dark, tinted glass. This is a, I believe it's a fossil, yeah, fossil. I bought it at uh, Amcot Mall, you know, the flea flea market 
for roughly about 200 for like plus ringgit. It was retailed at 500, I believe. This, okay, this done. All right, the Altaf. Ah, this is a Muslim, Muslim watch. Quite beautiful, but a uh, bit too glaring the gold color. You know, uh, if I wear it, I look like ape ape uh, tauke. Uh. <laughs> I don't know why I bought this color. I should have bought the. Uh, I should. Have, I should have bought the uh, silver version. Anyway, it's very useful. It has a uh, function where uh, it will give alarm during azan, and also uh, show you the kiblat where the kiblat is. I bought one for my wife. It's a bit smaller. Okay, unfortunately she hadn't worn it since yes, I kept it up. Another one of my favorite is this Timex Waterbury. Timex Waterbury. Very tough watch. Very tough watch. Also, I bought second hand at Amcock Mall. Uh, this Titus other uh, story <laughs> uh, initially I bought a Seiko 5 yeah? uh, Pepsi version I believe it's like a sub, uh, Rolex Submariner lookalike but less than a week the uh, it was automatic and it doesn't last me another an hour. The power reserve was supposed to last about 41 hours. And I sent it back to the dealer, chain store, I believe. Uh, uh, so uh, they say it will take me about roughly six months to repair. Wow. <laughs> uh, I was fuming, man. I said, how come, you know, uh, not even one week, yeah? So uh, I said I insisted to change to another uh, model and uh, they complied. Luckily they complied so uh, I chose this watch. So I got this beautiful uh, Titus. This is my, my first Titus model. Yeah, Leather strap, the leather is beautiful. And I was, this is has it has been my uh, one of my favorite watch. Yeah. This Casio edifice, my first Casio edifice. Uh, I got it like roughly twelve years ago, more than twelve years, I think. A beautiful crafted watch. High quality. Okay, uh, I gave this watch to my late father, so uh, when he passed away, so I got hold of it again. Yeah. One thing I don't like about this watch is uh, how painful it is to uh, adjust the day and date you know so basically like if you lose your timing it will take ages for you to wind and wind and wind the crown until you get the correct day and date this is my third edifice I believe my second edifice I sold it off edifice I bought it yesterday so the owner told me uh, he has not been using this watch ever since he bought it roughly about two years ago and uh, yeah it's a Bluetooth watch it has uh, alarm 
multi alarm function, uh, the typical stopwatch function, world time function, and you can connect it through apps on your phone. Yeah, uh, where you can adjust the time. You know, it actually has no crown. This is actually a button. Eh? Button. Okay, uh, so uh, every time you want to change the, it, it can be uh, adjusted manually or through the app. Yeah. I found this watch at my hometown. I believe it belongs to my father, my late father, but. Uh, There wasn't any battery on it, so it just changed just now. It cost me 18 ringgit to replace the battery. Quite a beautiful uh, Orient. Yeah, Orient watch. And this is a unique watch, yeah. Look at the inner octagon basically the second hand and uh, the inner square after the octagon is the minute hand followed by the other square which is the hour hand this looks unique but actually it's quite cheap I just replaced the battery uh, cost me about uh, 18 ringgit. Yeah. Uh, I think I bought it for less than 100 ringgit many years ago. Okay, okay, guys, that's about it. My collection of watch. Actually, I have three watches that was misplaced. Uh, one is the Casio uh, G-Shock, uh, or what Casio G-Shock, and uh, the Pierre Cardin watch, a beautiful leather strap watch with a dome, a glass, mineral, a sapphire glass and, and another one is the uh, fossil I believe, a fossil Okay, there you go guys, my collection of watches, thank you for listening